Hi, I'm David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we're going to have a look at the Mini NeoVim. In the history of Vim, there have always been some plugin authors who stood out and whose plugins you probably used. In the context of Vim, you surely know about Tim Pope, author of Vim Fugitive, Vim Surround, Vim Commentary, and many others. In NeoVim, there is Falke, he's the creator of Lazy.nvim, both the plugin system as well as the NeoVim setup, Tokyo Night, which is one of the best color schemes out there, and Noise, which gives NeoVim a great look. Today we're going to talk about the contributions of Evgeny Jasnowski. He created Mini Envim, a collection of high quality, easy to use plugins. Mini Envim is a collection of more than 20 independent Lua modules which improve the NeoVim experience and provide functionality, some of which I would consider mandatory. They can be installed separately, so you can pick the ones you like. It includes a completion engine, a color scheme, session management, text objects, basic configuration presets, bracket navigation, and many others. The installation of such packages is really simple and consistent. Here I'm using LazyGit as an example. You declare the package and run the setup function on the package. That's it. The default configuration is usually good enough, but each package allows you to tweak it a bit. So let's see some of those plugins in action. I'll start with mini completion, which is a completion engine and gives you auto completion. And the configuration, as all the other plugins, is super simple. One line of code, basically, and you have it. You don't need a snippet engine like in Envim CMP or anything else. It's super easy to configure. Let's see this in a test file. So here's a simple JavaScript function, foo. Let's try to call it. I type foo and you can see I get completion. If I hover over it, I can even get hints of what input parameters I need to provide. In this case, a start, hi, input, David, and the ending. Next is mini bracketed, which gives you nice bracket navigation. For example, you can press bracket B to go to the next buffer or to the previous buffer. And of course, you always get nice little help files. So here you can see what's all available. You can have buffers, comments, conflict markers, and so on. Very useful to quickly navigate. Next is mini comment, which lets you comment out blocks. Also super useful and very important to have. For example, I can press GCC to comment this block. It also works on multiple lines. If I press three GC, then three lines are commented. And of course I can also uncomment those again. With mini pass, you get auto pass. So let's see how that works. I write foo and you can see that the ending parenthesis is already inserted. I can also have that for curly braces or quotes and it all works. And if I type it manually, then it just replaces the ending one. So I don't have any duplicates or anything like that. Very nice to have. With mini surround, I can add or replace surrounding characters. So for example, const foo equals to bar. Let's say I want to have quotes around bar, then I can press S A inward and then a quote and it gets surrounded by it. To replace those quotes, I can also press S R single quote to double quote and it gets replaced. With mini AI, I get additional text objects, for example, for functions or function arguments. Uh, let's see how that works. So let's say I wanna change this function argument, then I can press CAA and type something, or I can replace all function arguments altogether by writing CIF, or I can remove the function call by writing DAF. So there are many more text objects, super useful. And the last one I want to show you is called Mini Base 16, which is a color scheme generator, so to say. And the only thing you need to do is provide 16 colors, your palette, and then you have a working theme. And the good thing about that is most common themes have support for Base 16, so they provide you those colors and you can just plug them in and have a working theme. But that's not all, there are many more plugins in the Mini ecosystem. Please go through the list and see what you like most. Post it in the comments, let me know what you like most. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and stay tuned.